would be pretty boring if we could only print to eight and a half by 11. But Andrea, you're going to show us how we can get around that. Yes, I'm going to show you not only how to get around printing photos on eight and a half by 11 inch paper, I'm going to show you how to print them on fabric and I'm going to show you how to print them big. Cool. So first things first, you want to make sure that your photo has a high enough resolution that you can make it large because if it's only good enough to print it this size, when you make it this size, it's going to be blurry. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get a good digital Raw image. File. Yes. And then th that lends well to this technique. And you can still do this on a standard printer even though it's a large image because you'll notice that these are still eight and a half by 11 inch sheets. They're just separated by a sash, like a window pane. Perfect. So the first thing you want to do is you want to import your photo and set it on your work table. And then you want to make sure that you have um, you know any borders or you you build where you want your sashing to go this one I want it to be kind of off-center so that I can focus on the basket uh -huh. of the balloon and then you just select your print your photo and you print your photo the size it is in the quilt and when you preview it it'll come out on multiple pages so you just hit print and if you lay it out that will give you the full hot air balloon. And, exa and it's exactly how it was um, on the screen and, and where uh, you put the sashing. Exactly. And so once it's printed, there are a couple steps to make sure the image is permanent. Okay. You want to print it and let it dry. Then you want to peel it from its backing and soak it in water. Some set with heat, some set with water. So you just have to follow the instructions. Follow the instructions out of the package and you'll end up with a beautiful quilt. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you, Andrea. My pleasure. And that's today's show. I hope you'll join us next time for some simple but very creative quilting techniques here on Quilting Arts.